Thanks for watching. In our previous video, we learned how to install Ubuntu as a dual boot system using Wubi from within Windows 7. And in that video, I discussed very briefly that you could remove Ubuntu from your hard drive if you used Wubi to install it from within Windows 7 as well. In this video, we'll discuss how to do that. So as you can see, we have our full working version of Ubuntu 11.10 that we installed using Wubi. So the next thing we need to do is go ahead and reboot the computer and go back into Windows 7. So I'll go ahead and choose the shutdown option and we'll click on restart. And that will of course reboot the computer. Just like our previous video, we'll be brought to the Windows Boot Manager once the computer boots up. This time select Windows 7 to go ahead and boot into it. Here in just a moment I will be prompted to run a check disk. Since I've been bypassing that, I do recommend to go ahead and let check disk run and to go ahead and correct any issues that the hard drive may have since the install. But for the sake of time I've bypassed it for this video. Alright, let's go ahead and log into our desktop just like we normally would. So punch in your password, hit enter. If you're set to automatically sign in, you'll already be at the desktop anyway. So from this point, let's go ahead and treat the Wubi install just like it's any other Windows based program. So simply go to the control panel. From here you can select the uninstall program option or you can click into the programs menu like I did. Now I'm selecting the uninstall program. You notice we have Ubuntu listed so go ahead and click on Ubuntu. That is our Wubi install. Now we'll click on the uninstall button. Once the dialog comes up, go ahead and select the uninstall button. This will go very quick in most cases. And go ahead and click finish once it says it's completed. Now we've got that free space back. So we need to go ahead and reboot the machine and prove that we don't have any kind of weird bootloader problems going on like you would sometimes when you try to dual boot a standalone installation. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Now keep in mind I am using VirtualBox so we see some different splash screens and error messages that you will not see during the actual boot. But as you can see we now have our starting Windows screen here. We no longer have the Windows Boot Manager, reason being there's only one operating system that the computer is seeing and it's Windows 7. Uh, we didn't have to reformat anything, we didn't have to repartition anything, we just simply went to the Add Remove Programs, selected Ubuntu, and uninstalled it. And it's a very clean, very easy way to uninstall. Now sometimes you'll have some strange things happen from time to time, there's always that room for a little error. But for the most case, Wubi is a fairly easy and a fairly risk-free way of trying out Ubuntu in a full install without having to really dig into partitioning and things. I do recommend if you plan on using Linux for future use that you learn some of that that you get in there because that will help you later down the road. But with that being said, you notice we're now back at Windows 7. Uh, it's the full desktop, it's functional, and it's it's just like it was before we ever installed Ubuntu. So as you can see it's a it's a very easy way to dig in and learn Ubuntu. They made it very accessible for newcomers to Ubuntu. So I do recommend you to at least check it out, you know, to keep it open as an option in case you don't want to dig in a little deeper with it. So with that being said, feel free to swing by our website at techiesmarts.com. Look me up on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash techiesmarts. Be sure to check the video description or if you're watching this on our blog, be sure to check the, uh, the links down below the video for our Facebook and Google Plus pages as well. So friend us on there. Look forward to talking to you. As always, be sure you swing by our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash techiesmarts and subscribe so you stay up to date with our videos as new ones are released. So once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.